The one who could easily make it is Jackie Weaver. I go Jackie Weaver, or Ruth Weaver as her parents named her, is a 71-year-old actress from Sydney who's best known for her supporting roles in Animal Kingdom and Silver Linings Playbook, which were filmed when she was in her mid-60s. For these two films, she won several acting awards and was even nominated for two Oscars. This boy who's being looked after, he knows who you are. And you know how these things go. They're going to ask him all sorts of questions about everything he's ever seen or done everyone he's ever met, the whole schmozzle. And you've done some bad things, sweetie, haven't you? I want this part to be clear. This is not about you doing me a favour or me blackmailing you, anything like that. It's just a bad situation for everyone. She won't come, she can't We have come. to tell him that she's coming. We have to tell him that she's going. But that's a lie! That's a white that's lie. That's a white lie. What's that matter? That's no big deal. So it's a little lie. No other way. No. You know, we gotta leave a trail of breadcrumbs so that he can live his life without ruining it. No, I, I, I don't approve. You can't do it. Well, you know, I didn't approve when you called her and you told her where, where, where he was running so she could ambush him. I didn't approve of that, but you did it anyway, so I'm doing this anyway. That's it. We're gonna tell him Nikki will be there. You gotta be part of it. We have to do it. Jackie's internet movie database page dates back to 1964 and lists 42 screen credits when she appeared as herself and 80 screen credits playing characters. From this year until 2019, her projects include Irreplaceable You, Squinters, Life of the Party, Secret City, Widows, Bird Box, Zeroville, Out of the Blue, Elsewhere, The Grudge, Stage Mother, and Poms. So she's pretty fucking busy. Well, you know, since I came to live in Los Angeles seven years ago, I've made about 20 American films and uh, three TV series comprising about 30 episodes altogether, and I've made about three Australian films. So um, to be able to talk in my own accent which is very lazy, you know, when you, I'm always American and I still meet Americans who are surprised that I'm not American, which is a compliment. Um, but when, I, when I'm working in an American film, I get sore jaw because, you know, you have very, you're much more muscular the way you speak. Right. Yeah. And we're kind of lazy, we don't move our faces as much. Uh -huh. My career was, was in, mostly in, on stage and mm. I've been in about 80 plays and I've played a lot of villains. Mm. I played a lot of sweet innocent people too. Right. But one of the things you learn at drama school is if you're playing a villain, try not to judge them. Right. Try and see the best of them or otherwise you're just gonna it'll be like a cartoon villain, you know. Right. Cut it. Being on set surrounded by young alpha males 12 hours a day. <laughs> the testosterone's palpable. You can't afford to let the energy flag at all. Because these are all very intense people. Um, the, the two eldest sons especially, played by Ben and Sullivan, they are very hypertense people. They're very... So the, the energy's there all the time. The recipient for this year's Byron Kennedy Award is an esteemed colleague, Adam Akapoa. Cinematographer Adam Akapoa is a true artist, creating memorable and provocative images using light and movement across short films, commercials, television and feature films. Amongst a string of internationally renowned short films, Adam's work on heavy-hitting local features Animal Kingdom, Snowtown and Laura earned him great acclaim and saw him consistently raising the bar above the genre. 
The haunting mystery series Top of the Lake and True Detective marked Adam's foray into television and earned him two Primetime Emmy Awards for outstanding cinematography, demonstrating his ability to bring cinema to the small screen. In 2014, Adam re-teamed with Snowtown director Justin Curzel to shoot Macbeth, a film which is generating Oscar buzz for its stunningly atmospheric cinematography. Adam's work, already acknowledged as virtuosic and innovative, is always in service of the story. For this, and his pursuit of excellence and devotion to the art of cinematography, Adam Arkapoor is the recipient of this year's Byron Kennedy Award. Thanks to the jury. It's a really great feeling to receive this honour and to think that my name can in some way share in the same immense creative force as Byron Kennedy and the other excellent recipients of this award. I feel very proud to be a product of the Australian film industry. Yeah, that's a lot of talking. Love your work. Adam's page on the Internet Movie Database lists 42 screen credits as a cinematographer since 2004, and he's directed a couple of movies. The internet doesn't know how old he is, but from this picture I'd say he's about 35. Unfortunately, I don't know when it was taken. My name is Greg Gregson. The kids at school call me Mr G. And I've been a senior drama teacher here at Summer Heights for nine years now. Hold it, morons. My name is Jamee, J-A apostrophe M-I-E. Yes, I come from one of the most expensive private girls' schools in the state, but I'm actually really cool. There's so many fat chicks at this school. I know! I teach Jonah Takalua. Fuck you, miss. Beg your pardon? I said fuck you, with a P. He's disruptive and he can be very rude. Kind. Oh, miss, you farted. Oh. Miss just farted. My teaching methods are fairly unique. Someone join in. I'm there to inspire them. Who's going to want to pay to see you on stage? I'm there to teach them to dare to dream. Get out. Just because I'm rich doesn't mean I'm a bitch. I don't want to be a bitch, but you guys are really boring. Teachers at my school are always going, Jemay, oh my god, you're the most likely to succeed and stuff, because I'm like the smartest non-Asian in year 11. Teachers at this school are so racist. If anything ever happens, if teachers go, Jonah, he must have done it. Jonah, cap off falls on the ground now. What are you doing? You said put my Get balls up, on the ground. The ground. Get off my the balls ground. are on the ground, you stop. Get up. I'm dealing with a principal who does not get what it takes to run a successful drama department. I try to have a dream, I dare to have a, a dream that's big and you shove it in my face. I heard tonight's formal has taught you guys that just because you go to a public school and you're polo, it doesn't mean that you can't have a good time. It's boring to do work. I'd rather do fun stuff. And you can do fun stuff when you're an adult, so why can't you do it when you're at school? You're going to look at Ben and say, sorry, Ben. You want to sorry, come? Ben! Right now, you're in the studio here. But if you went down Clarendon Street a bit, turned right at Park Street, turned left into Moray Street, and then stopped at 253, you'd be at the casting headquarters of Alison Telford, casting director. If you go to Alison's website and check out the testimonials, you'll understand there are only two kinds of people who hire her, producers and directors. These people are the gatekeepers to our future, but casting directors like Ellison hold the keys. Ellison Telford has been working as a casting director since 1997. Yes, that's back in the 1900s, like the olden days, and has 29 credits to her name. In 2012, she co-established a production company called Point of View Films with Deborah Barlow and Martin McKenna, which means she is now a keyholder and a gatekeeper. In 2015, they released this feature film. We haven't actually met. Someplace. I saved my life. And I've got nothing, and nothing's on my mind. I have dealt with dozens of Mark Blazes in my time. Your pretty face. <laughs> have you guys been to the Boneyard? We're not leaving the 
country, are we? Why would that be better? You're mental. He's gonna kill me. Please get me home. Stop right there!